Hi folks, this is Chubbs and I have another video tutorial here ready for you and as, as you can see I'm going to start off a little bit quicker today. Uh, this will be in Doom 2 so again you can use this in Doom 1 also. Let's go ahead and get this started and I'll show you how to create teleports and what you'll want to do first and uh, just for this example is I'll just create a uh, just a normal room. Nothing special about it really. Uh, just a box and um, Let's go ahead and just put a player start just to get get things started, and uh, yeah, that should be fine there. Just facing over to the right, and uh, let's go ahead and just get our first teleport made. And uh, first, what you want to do, of course, for teleports is it's usually um, just a square with one of those um, pentagon uh, or uh, pentagram symbols on them, or whatever you call those. And as you can see, normally in the main game, and then they're also just a straight lines as well that you can walk over like if you're forced to go down like a tight corridor for example or something along those lines that will teleport you without you expecting it and uh, those have been used also but uh, for this example I'm just going to focus on the square teleports and uh, teleports can be any any shape or anything that could be uh, you know you can specify what you want those to be they don't have to be a square or a line but um, you know that that's uh, just the I uh, guess you could say the standard in mapping is to use those, but let's go ahead and make a square, and what I'll first want to note is, in order to make the uh, teleport symbols appear correctly, you have to base it on, on what the grid shows, and so you can't place them just anywhere for the floor to look correctly, and it's kind of hard to explain, but I'll demonstrate it right here, and um, within the editor, you'll notice that um, on the grid, there are these um, squares that, that are formed, and and uh, as the grid keeps going on, and the squares are like uh, uh, the uh, lines are colored blue, and uh, in between the blue, in between those blue squares, as you can see, I'm highlighting the blue square now. You probably can't see it because of the quality, but um, in between these, you'll see that there are. Um, whenever the grid's in 32 mode, you'll see that there are basically uh, a, a intersecting gray lines. And, what you want to do is just make sure that that uh, the square falls on top. It uh, falls exactly on top of one of those uh, blue squares that have been created on the grid. And just to show you what it does, if you make a teleport that's not on there, let's go ahead and just shift it over a little bit as I did there. And let's go into 3D mode and I'll show you what it does. So, uh, go ahead and find where I'm at here. Okay, let's go ahead and raise the floor. Whoops. Here we go. The floor has been raised. Let's go ahead. I'll just raise it up a little bit more to show you. Um, I'll increase the lighting as well here. Just a second. Okay. All right. Now here's where the teleport would be. Watch what happens when I place the teleport symbol. Now let's find it here. Um, here, here are some that are used often. See what it does there? And there's no way you can't shift that over um, like you would normally be able to in the editor or anything like that or about you can't align floor textures like in the editor or anything so you have to base it on the grid and if you have it in the wrong spot that's what it looks like it just doesn't come out correctly so now to demonstrate that let's go back into the editor again and let's go ahead and shift it back over to where I had it where it's in where it's laying exactly on top of the blue uh, the blue square that's created by those lines now let's go back into the 3d mode and Look at it now. It looks perfect. And that is what happens. You have to just make sure that that's uh, that it's on top of those blue squares that are created there. And, uh, but now that we have that um, as the teleport, let's go ahead and create a teleport destination. And uh, keep in mind that we haven't set the teleport properties up yet, so we'll have to do some more. We'll come back to that here in a second. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll just extend the room a bit as I've already done here. And let's make uh, just say like a a um, high point that you can't access otherwise by jumping or or uh, climbing stairs or anything like that. I'll make that right here. As you can see, I've made just a just a, a small place here. This will be a, a place that's high up, and I'll I'll go into 3D mode just to do that. And you can remember that you can raise floor and ceiling heights in here by using the mouse wheel. So I'll go ahead and raise that up, and let's go ahead and raise the ceiling here as well, just in case the player ends up getting stuck. Let's go ahead and take care of these textures. 
And keep in mind, folks, I'm not focusing on texture work, so it, it does look pretty crappy right now, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So, so um, as you can see, up here is where the um, inaccessible point will be unless you take this teleport. That will teleport you up there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get back in here. And uh, let's go ahead and just place, like, let's say, a shotgun up there. So uh, let's add a, just go ahead and just add a shotgun. Uh, let's put some ammo beside it as well real quick. And let's see, I'll just put in a box of shells. And what you'll want to do first for uh, to get the teleport to work is you ha you have to have a teleport destination, and this is within the things menu. So go into thing mode and wherever you want to be teleported to, uh, just place the teleport destination down, and uh, go go to teleports and then teleport destination. And the angle right here, the facing direction basically is where you'll be facing after you teleport. So I'm just going to make you face towards the. Uh, towards the shotgun whenever you teleport up there and uh, in order to teleport to that destination uh, and basically in order to make it so that if you step here it teleports you here uh, the, uh, there will be problems that will pop up for those who uh, who have trouble figuring out how to do that like if you have different teleport destinations and and in order to make different teleports recognize or know where to t where to send you to if you have numerous teleport destinations is you have to use sector tags and sector tags basically just um, connect a um, connect basically like line actions with certain sectors and you also can use this for lifts to make sure that like a like a switch corresponds to a lift or like a switch corresponds to a staircase or anything like that like a rising staircase but let's go ahead and uh get started now that we have that destination set down and let's go ahead and get get over here to, to the teleport just go ahead and select the, the four lines that make that up um, go right click and go to a line def action and let's go to teleport and wr teleport wr means that you can uh, that it's walk that it's walk over so it's triggered by you walking over it and r means that it's repeatable so you can do it over and over again so go ahead and choose that and now let's get into sector tags. You'll see here there's a field that says sector tag. It says zero right now. The, the number just uh, basically means what it's identified with. So the easiest thing to do first is just to click next unused. That will go ahead and set it up with one since we haven't used any other numbers. And so let's click OK. And uh, now that that's set up with the tag of one, let's go over here to this sector where that, where that uh, teleport destination is within. And go into sector mode, right click it, and make sure that this sector tag is also set to 1. And you don't want to click next unused right here, because if you do, since we've already used 1, it'll think that you want to use a, a newer one, and it'll put 2, but select 1 right now. And once you have 1, click OK. And to be honest, that is really all you have to do to make teleports. As long as you have the, the lines that you can walk over, and a, a teleport destination that's within a tag within a sector that's been tagged and uh, as long as you have those set up that really should be all you need and if you'll notice whenever you put your um, inline mode when you put your cursor over this notice how the sector over to the right there and i'm going to be teleported to lights up in yellow or it's highlighted by yellow this is helpful and uh, it'll show you what it's tagged to easier so you don't have to go through looking at tags and it's a helpful feature in new builder you can also do this vice versa by going into sector mode and highlighting this. And as you can see, it makes the teleport over to the left to highlight in yellow. So very helpful feature. And uh, that really should be all you need to know about teleports. And if you, uh, just to use another example, let's say you have a, like another room that you want to teleport in. Like a, I know there can be some questions about this. Like if you have a big room and you have numerous teleports or numerous destinations, let's say... Let's say that um, you want to teleport over here just as an example. I'll put another teleport destination. It's on the same platform. Now there will be some questions here. Uh, some people may need this. They'll say, well, well if this sector's tagged uh, and I have two teleport destinations in it, how will it know which one to choose? And really it probably doesn't know. So let's go ahead and I'll just use this as an example what to do in this case. 